It was meant to be a five-year project at its renewal in March 2016. But going by the speed at which its implementation is moving, the original timeline of 2021 may be cut short. Phase 3 of Northern Uganda Social Action Fund, NUSAF, is a 130 million US dollar World Bank funded project whose implementation currently stands at 74%. Overall, we think NUSAF is progressing as planned and we are heading towards achieving the project development objectives. We have spent 74% of the money already and we are sure that we can complete the project in time. Core in the project are disaster risk public works, management of risk financing, livelihood support investment, and safety investment support, among other objectives. Steady progress has been registered in this regard, with 96 million US dollars already utilized. We are saying we need national planning and convergence so that we all put our energies together, put the thinking together programmatically. Let us see where do we take this village revolving fund approach? Where do we take this disaster risk financing that NUSAF has tested? We have piloted it. So what next? However, to say that the project implementation has been without any hurdle is to miss the point of developmental judgment. Out of the eight subregions earmarked for this project, West Nile has had shortcomings, with officials from Arua district in particular implicated in some scandals. Manipulate the community and go and steal the resources from the community. This is the case of Arua, where a district officer in charge of NUSAF, NUSAF desk officer, goes and asks, the, after even transferring the money to the community accounts, and the communities had even ordered their inputs, they even got them, planted their cassava, planted the maize, in some cases even harvested the beans. Then he went, conspired with the community facilitator, recruited him in his scheme, and went and convinced the communities to withdraw money in cash and bring it to him in the district offices. Under the disguise that he was going to pay the vendor. And in a short time of two months, this gentleman and his team had withdrawn 500 million shillings from the communities. Please report corruption. A very famous Italian poet and artist called Dante, a long time ago, even before corruption was in place, said, the hottest place in hell is reserved for those who in times of corruption remain quiet. Those who are familiar with this quotation will excuse me for the little modification, but I hope it drives the point home. Nevertheless, this has not deterred project implementers from moving forward, a landmark towards which State Minister for Northern Uganda, Grace Kuyuchwing, affirms government support. These are currently being addressed with all the necessary aggressiveness, like our officer there has said. NUSAF is one of the flagship projects of government, and one of the reasons for the good performance is this policy of zero, zero tolerance to corruption. The temptation is still there. As I move around, I hear. But please, why don't you pray that please God don't lead me into temptation? The third session of NUSAF is a continuation of a 2003 initiative that was started by government to rehabilitate war victims in northern Uganda. In the current phase three, it is being implemented in over 60 districts from greater northern Uganda. The question both implementers and beneficiaries could be asking is, what next after the closure of NUSAF 3 project in 2021? <laughs> Henry Okurut, UBC.